Levi's 501 jeans have a reputation of being a wardrobe staple, but how much of it is that they're truly the best jeans and how much of it is just marketing hype? I went to the Levi's store and I tried on a lot of different pairs. I tried on six pairs of jeans and then two pairs of skirts. And there were some that I loved and some that I didn't. So we're gonna be talking about the pros and the cons of different pairs of Levi's jeans. So whether you're looking for a cool new vintage pair to wear this fall or one of the newer models, then keep watching. And if you like videos about shopping quality fashion or secondhand fashion, then click subscribe. I'll be coming out with new videos once a week. Also, if you think this kind of information is valuable, then give this video a thumbs up. Before we start, I do have a disclaimer. This video is not sponsored by Levi's, but it is sponsored by my friend Dobie. So thank you, Dobie. Um, he has a really cool graphic design intern at work, and she has an Instagram page where she showcases how she hand paints denim jeans. So here's an example of one of my favorite pairs. Um, I think that the design on the pocket is super cool, but she'll also do different kinds of art on different pairs of jeans. She'll also do custom designs like this one here. So if you think that her stuff is as cool as I do, then definitely check her out. I'm gonna leave her Instagram handle on the screen, and I'm also gonna leave a link down below. If you're looking for a pair of jeans that are gonna be wardrobe staples, it seems hard to go wrong with a pair that have been popular since the 1800s. But how flattering are the 501 original jeans? I went and then my family member tried on a pair and I have to be honest with you, hated them. So you've got the fitted waist and then you've got a looser fit straight leg jean. I think that if you're looking for something that's gonna accentuate your figure a little bit more, then you're better off going with the 501 skinny jeans. The 501 skinnies are a pair that I bought and they can be considered part of my haul. Personally, I really like this pair and I have gotten a lot of wear out of them so far. You've got the high waist, a more fitted leg, and then you've got a cropped ankle, which normally I don't like, but in this case I do. I don't think it really cuts off your leg too much or makes it look shorter because um, the jean legs are very fitted. I would say that these pair are true to size, but there is a little bit of stretch in this material, unlike with the 501 originals. So in this case, you might want to size down just because the odds are that after you wear the jeans for a few days, they're going to loosen up a little bit. I quite like them, and I think that they're really flattering on a lot of people. We all know about mom jeans, which we're going to talk about in a minute, but there's a new cool jean on the scene. <laughs> Sorry for being so nerdy, but there's a cool new pair of jeans called the dad jean. These are inspired by dads in the 90s and they're super unflattering. They sit a little bit low in the waist. They're a straight wide leg that hits you just above the ankle. So I'm 5'7", but these, sh but these jeans made me look like I was 4'7". But if you're trying to prove that you can look good no matter what you wear, or if you wanna look really cool and on trend, then dad jeans could be something to try. Like, I personally really loved the fit of the Levi's mom jeans up top, but what I didn't like about them was that they had a tapered effect at the bottom instead of just being straight. It didn't really flatter me in the way that some other jeans would. I think that if you wanna add extra emphasis or extra shape to that area, then these jeans can be great for you. But otherwise, you might wanna give them a pass unless you can find a pair with a straight leg with no tapering. A denim skirt for me is one of those classic things that I always reach for in my wardrobe time and time again, particularly in the summer. I tried on a denim skirt modeled after the 501 jeans. I thought it was really, really cute, but if you're, if you're a little bit above average height, then chances are you're not gonna be able to sit down. Like I'm 5'7", and I definitely couldn't sit down without having some sort of a wardrobe malfunction. I would recommend these if you're a more petite person. I think they're gonna look wonderful on you. When the mini skirt didn't work out so well for me, my shopping buddy, she came over and she held up this mighty skirt. And it's not really a style that I would typically go for, but she convinced me to try it on and I'm really glad that she did. I think it's flattering. I think the way it hits you with the knee, it's gonna elongate your legs a bit more. And because of the length, there's some extra versatility. You can wear it with sandals in the summer, or you can pair it with a pair of knee-high boots in the winter. The Levi's Ribcage Straight Leg Jeans are one of my favorite pairs that I tried on, but my main issue with these ones is that they were cropped. And when you've got a straight leg, that doesn't taper and it's cropped, then it's gonna make your leg look a little bit shorter. I love the high-waisted jeans. These are the highest-waisted jeans that Levi's makes, 
But at the end of the day, I also want a long straight leg. I don't want to have any cropping because I want my legs to look longer. If on the other hand, you're someone with a lot of shoes that you want to show off, then the cropped leg could be for you. Another pair of jeans that I have and can be considered part of my haul are the Levi 721 High Rise Skinnies. So like the name says, there's a high waist and there is skinny jean. These ones are a lot more skinny than the Levi's 501s, which I actually think are a bit more of a fitted straight leg. But if you're looking for a pair of skinny jeans, I think these ones are really nice. They're a bit stretchy, but really comfortable. Skinny jeans are not the jeans of the day, but they make a lot of people look really good. If you're looking for a sleek look, then this might be a pair that you should look into. I think the moral of the story is you have to try jeans on. I've never had an experience where so many jeans that I tried on just didn't fit me. I mean, I think that just a few little adjustments here and there would have really made a big difference. And there are a lot of pairs that do exist, just not at that store, that really would suit me. I'm curious to hear what you think of Levi's jeans. Please leave comments down below because I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Thanks so much for watching. And again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. I'll see you next time.